Hi, my name's Dan. I'm the youngest of seven children. I first visited Riverview Church back when it was known as Raymond Church. I'd just moved to Perth after university. I was freaked out by the loud music and the style of worship. Having grown up in a Baptist church, it was not what I was used to. Uh, Cy Rogers was speaking that night and I thought he spoke very well. I also noticed the big TV screens and I thought, wow, they're wasted in church. About a year later, I moved back to to Kagali and was diagnosed with depression. During this time my brother Andrew and his wife Paula moved to Perth and my brother Dave also moved to Perth to study at Review Leadership College. On one of my annual visits to see them I went with them to Review Church and was uh, impacted by the speaker so at the end of the service I put up my hand and gave my life back to God. I really wanted to move back to Perth to attend Review Church but I couldn't see how I was going to make that happen with my work commitments. That was when my brother David told me about uh, Riverview Live. Uh, it was on every Sunday morning on GWN. So I used to set my VCR to record it and I'd watch that every week. In September 2004 I was finally able to move back to Perth. I moved in with Dave and started attending Riverview. Initially I'd just come along and sit in the congregation and listen to the message and just enjoy being at church, getting out of it what I could. I started feeling like I should volunteer and I thought it'd be good to volunteer on the video crew and help produce the show that helped me so much. In October 2006 I joined the video crew. It was great to be able to hang out with a bunch of people who love serving God and working on cameras. I also joined the tech team which is responsible for setting up and packing down cameras. I never fully understood the impact of what I do as a volunteer until one service I saw someone put their hand up during the altar call. It was then that I realised that this is why I serve, to see others make a decision to commit their lives to God. I still suffer from depression, but being able to serve on the crew in a positive environment helps me deal with it. I'm thankful to God that he's been faithful to me and I can continue my journey with him. Now when I look at those screens in the auditorium, I don't think that they're a waste anymore.